Oh right, been a long time since we've done a video. Me and Joe are gonna go on a quick walk out, check out the stone structure, like an igloo shelter. We just parked up there on the uh, Sheffield Road. I lay by on the Sheffield Road on the way to, that's the road that takes you to Mantorn, through to Castleton. This way, mate. Joe, you're going the wrong way. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing, we're going to walk over to, let me see if I can zoom in, can you just see that little hut there in the middle? That little hut. We're going to walk over to there and um, hopefully it's going to stay dry on the way there. It's only a mile from the lay-by, just over a mile, so you know, you just want a little quick trip out with the kids. Been the kids. I've been here before with a mate from work. Pretty cool place. Uh, yeah, just over a mile from the lay-by. Um, we've bought, bought some candles and a bit of something to eat and some lights. So we're going to chill inside. Make a bit of an adventure in it. Uh, it's quite easy to find. You can actually see it from the road as you're driving up the hill. But um, if you want to know the, um, the coordinates where it is or any help finding it just give me a shout in the comments and I'll uh, more than happy to give you a hand. I've not seen any videos on YouTube for this place so um, I mean maybe there is I've, I've had a quick look I can't see in the Instagram photos of this place or YouTube videos I've just found it by accident actually. And you also did it sure that's not normal car parking probably the farmer in it yeah so you just follow the footpath up from the lay-by yeah this is the path that would take you up to um, the top of rush up edge but instead we're gonna turn left in a bit basically head towards brown knoll the footpath doesn't actually take you to this shelter the brown knoll footpath would take you to the right of the shelter and also cowburn shaft which is that sort of castle shaped building which is further along it's actually a massive hole that take, goes all the way down to the um to the tunnel cowburn tunnel railway tunnel it's like a ventilation shaft apparently it's about a 200 meter drop down to the bottom of the track so you wouldn't want to fall down it and hence why there's a, a stone structure, like a castle, built around that massive hole. There is videos on YouTube if you have a look where you can actually see where someone's managed to get into that structure because uh, the door's been left open and you can see down. <laughs> you would not want to fall down that hole, believe me. Last time we came, we did go, me and Brad came, it was pouring with rain, we came and had a look at the Calburn uh, mine shaft, uh, ventilation shaft as well, but it was all scaffolding, you couldn't get in. Not done any videos in ages, really. What I'll get back into putting some videos together this summer. Uh, got an idea for um, putting together a selection of videos for some like really easy walks like this in the peak district in the area that i know the high peak it's sort of ideal for you don't need loads of hiking gear or anything it doesn't take long but you get the amazing views so um yeah look out for those videos i really want to make them later on this year places like uh south head and mount famine really easy short walks to get to the top but the views are absolutely epic uh, there's another place near me called Eccles Pike. You, you, at this place you can literally park your car at the top and it's a uh, 100 meter tops walk to the top. It's an um, absolutely amazing viewing platform. You can see loads of stuff and there's even like a brass ring that's been set into the ground right at the top that shows you the direct in the you know shows you where things are so you sort of look at the ring and look and then you can sort of tells you where things are in the distance it's really helpful so i could do a video of that and there's loads of places 
around here that you don't need to go on long walks to get these great views. If you know where to go, you can uh, take a short trip out. So uh, make sure you subscribe and like the videos and look out for these future uploads. Weather's not too bad today. It is forecast to rain. Well, it's spitting a bit now. We can just get to the hut before we start hammering it down. We can sit and chill in the dry. Set up our little lights, make it all cool. Right, so we're still on the uh, track. I think it's a bridle way. It's gonna take you up to Rushall Pedge from the lay-by. Back there. That's the Sheffield Road. It's super straightforward. You just come off the, the lay-by on the Sheffield Road, head up this track towards Through this gate, keep continuing. This is the path to Rush Up Edge from the lay by, super easy. Give me a shout if you need any help find this place. Okay, so we're coming off the path now, so you want to keep going on until you get to this sign here. <laughs> Can't zoom in, that's ways to Edel by my uh, barber booth. And then I think continue that way would take you across. Yeah, definitely that's a bush up edge path that way. Or you can go to Brown Knoll this way. So what you're going to do is you're not going to stay on the path. You're going to follow this dry stone wall here. I don't know if I'm picking it out towards this little castle building. All right, so we're going to follow this wall. It's like pretty much completely demolished. But you can see it still is there. The footpath's going off that way towards the uh, top of Brown Knoll. We're going to walk along this wall, aren't we, Joe? soaked before we get inside. There it is. Shelter. Joe, uh, Joe caught some uh, mouse. He just called it a flying chicken. Well, I'll come in here. I, bet, I think someone has. There we go. What do you reckon, Joe? This looks good. A little light, gonna set some little candles up. What more do you want? The candle gone out. Yeah. I bought some little tea light candles. Luckily, I bought that as well. It's just going what? out. The wind is blowing it out. Got a little, uh, got a brew. Uh, Joe's got his apple juice, some bunny bites. Can't beat bunny bites, can you? And what's the thing about bunny bites, Joe? They're always broken. Yeah, well. Except that broken one. bunnies. Nice. Sometimes they're not broken, they're just missing part of their mouth. Let's try and get some more candles set up, maybe in some more sheltered spots. After this. Oh well. 
Mmm. <laughs> I'm picturing this like idyllic sort of candle lit <laughs> little picnic, me and the boy. But uh, it's uh, the power of LED lighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite windy. It's not too dark in here though, I just thought it would look cool. So you can, um, that's the main road there that takes you up from Chapel on the Fifth up to Lord's Mansour, the Sheffield Road. This is a beautiful little hut. coming in now but you can just about see the top of uh, South Head and uh, that's uh, the Chinley Churn. Uh, what else can we see? Over there would be sort of like the uh, Kinder Scout. Right, we're going to try again with the candles. Joe's made a little windbreak. Let's give it a go. Joe the engineer, oh See, no. Now the idea pays off. Unless you try too many times and it's not going to go. You know. He's a clever lad, that lad. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, no, exactly. Maybe that's uh, that a gap. How long is that one going to go for? Go on, go on. Go, stay lit. At Come least on. Let my power of Third work. You can do it. Don't die. Um, at least it landed a bit long, a bit longer, I guess. We're stuffed, mate. Shout out to Liam. <laughs> Not cool graffiti <laughs> stuff, but shout out to Liam, Liam oh, wherever you are. Shout out to Dav. I do quite like the um, the fish thing, though. Shout out to Dav. And Dav. Shout yeah. out to. Uh, if you come, um, <gasps> if you do come, check this out. Dad. Don't. Don't write, write your name. Don't write your name. I can translate that. Go okay. on then. 2015. Cool. Well done. Even though they put that in wrong. Oh. Because I don't can't... think this was built in 2015. Then why does it say, look at that? No, I think someone came then. Oh, look. That's longer. Mm. What's Joe done? He's not going to feed you, do you know, have you? Chilling in our little shelter, staying dry. Okay, time to go. We've had our little picnic. Obviously, left no trace. There was a bit of litter we're going to bring back. We are going to leave these candles because it's not litter. So, if anyone comes up, you're welcome to have a go at getting them going. It's pretty windy up here. I'm having my light back. You come up, obviously goes out saying if there's any litter, do us a favour and just bring it with you, will you? Just keep it nice and tidy in here and uh, try to resist carving your name in the side. We're getting off now and as predicted the weather is proper coming now. So bye bye bye. See you later, Shelter. Yeah, we'll come back again. We can go enjoy that. So we just need to just brace ourselves now and just get back. But, Sipping it down now. Luckily, it's not that far to the car. Not the dry in the shelter, though, it's just amazing. It's just a stack of stones, and it? it really is dry inside. Yeah. Welcome to the Peak District. This is the 
course it's pretty standard weather. <laughs> Joe. Right, we're nearly back at the car now. Uh, it had to be a bit of a cut in the filming, it sort of went a bit weird, my phone. Yeah, so back at the car. Pretty well there now, to be fair. Uh, do you reckon Joe's it fun? Yeah, I'm getting into bed. <laughs> yeah, we're both soaked. Uh, I kind of knew it was going to rain, but yeah, it's pretty, you know, it's peak district. It just rains all the time here. So yeah, unfortunately the my uh, camera and went a bit do lally. Uh, so iPhone for you. <laughs> um, all in all, that should be 2.2 miles, I think, from the lay-by here um, on the Sheffield Road to the shelter and back to the car again. So it's a nice little short trip out. You know, there's not many of those um, stone beehive shelters knocking around, so. <laughs> Am I rambling on? <laughs> <laughs> Little sod. <laughs> so you, you can t you can talk for England, Joe. Anyway, if you uh, like this video or you want any more information on, if you want to come and check it out yourself and you're not sure, because I've probably you know I'm not a professional YouTuber, you want to get some more information and uh, so you can find it. Give us a shout in the comments. Oh, Definitely give us a like. Give us a subscribe. It really, uh, I've only got at this moment, I think I've got like 50 subscribers, so you know, it really sort of like cheers me up seeing that notification. Dad, it's not me. Red, I mean, you subscribe when it's grey. Is it make that subscribe button grey? Come on, I rambler, make the, rambler. I make the and make, check out, you know, subscribe because I'm going to be putting out some videos this summer of other short walks. Easy to do, you don't need any special hiking gear, but you're getting them amazing views uh, and interesting places in the high peak. This is coming from uh, from some locals. We're locals, aren't we, to the area? You know, we're going to be home in five minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We're going to get home, get dry, chill out. See you in the next one.